Section 10.4 gets into perimeters and areas and how they're going to be related within similar figures. So we're going to be looking at uh, what we're going to see between the perimeters and areas in similar figures and their ratios. We're also going to look at how we can determine the area and also find perimeter ratios. So the first thing I have here is a list of three different relationships which we can find between perimeter, area, and volume. I'm going to include volume in here. However, we're not going to see a lot of practice problems with this, but it is something important for the end of course exam. So the first thing we know is that the ratio of the perimeters of two similar shapes is equal to the similarity ratio. So whatever the similarity ratio is, our ratio of our perimeters will be the exact same thing. For ratio of area, we're going to have the ratio of the perimeter squared, which makes sense because area is squared units. So I'm going to take that ratio, I'm going to square each of the values. And then for volume, we're going to take the ratio of the perimeter and we are going to cube it, which again makes sense because when you consider volume, you'll have cubed units and you'll see that more coming up in the future here. So in this first example, we're just looking to find the similarity ratio. Now, usually when you see the examples, the directions will tell you which thing you're comparing to which thing. For example, it'll say compare or find the ratio of the smaller figure to the larger figure or vice versa. So here, we're just going to do the smaller figure to the larger figure. So I'm going to take my known sides that I have. I have four centimeters over eight centimeters. If I reduce that, I get a ratio of one over two. So that's my similarity ratio. That's all I have to do is write the smaller over the larger. You go ahead and try that next problem. We're going to move on to finding perimeter and area ratios. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find our similarity ratio, which here we just did that. We had one over two. So now our perimeter ratio, if you recall from that first slide that I showed you, our perimeter ratio is the exact same thing. But our area ratio is our perimeter ratio squared. So my answer there is going to be 1 over 4. So my area ratio is 1 fourth, my perimeter ratio 1 half, because that's the same as my similarity ratio of 1 half. So you do that next you try problem. All right, so here we need to go through and we need to find an area. So they're saying if we tell you that the area of ABC is 25 centimeters squared, we want to know what's the area of DEF. And they've given you this one side of your triangles. So what you can do is create a similarity ratio. Your smaller to your larger is 15 over 45, which reduces, oops, reduces to 1 over 3. So that's your similarity ratio. Remember, for area, we're going to square that. So my area ratio is 1 over 9. That's my smaller to my larger. So I know 1 over 9 is going to be my ratio. Well, the actual value they've given us for ABC, which is my smaller, is 25. And they want us to find our larger area. So what we need to do here is some cross multiplication. We get x equals 225. And then your units, centimeters squared. So you know that the area of your larger triangle is 225 squared centimeters. You go ahead and try that next problem right there. We have one more thing we need to look at. And that is if we're going backwards. So what if they give you the area and you need to go backwards to determine what the perimeter, perimeter ratio is. So if you think back to what we learned before, the ratio of the areas of two similar shapes is equal to the ratio of the perimeter squared. So if I'm looking to go backwards, I need to take this ratio of my perimeter and I need to undo that squaring. So I need to find the square root. To find the perimeter, take the square root of the area. So I'm going to write my ratio of my areas. I've got 50 meters squared over 98 meters squared. And if I reduce that, I can divide by 2, which gets me 25 meters squared over 49 meters squared. 
And now I'm going to take the square root of this ratio. So I end up with 5 meters over 7 meters. So my perimeter of my ratio my ratio of my perimeters, sorry, is 5 over 7. So we went through, we took our areas, we set them up in a ratio here with our smaller over our larger. We simplified by dividing by 2, then we took the square root, and we got our answer of 5 over 7. So you try that, you try and bring it to class.